What is going on, you raving lunatics? Guys, this is my chance to take a victory lap, but I don't want to take that victory lap. I just want to tell you, if you like this content, if you followed me, if you invested because of what we were talking about and what we've been talking about for the last little while, you're welcome. Because, you know, sometimes it, you see things happening. You see that there is a, a potential moment in time where something is going to go absolutely bonkers. Now, if you put your money in USTC, then you're feeling super great right now. If you put it in the lunk, you're feeling pretty good right now. If you've been in it for a little while, you weren't in it too high. You're probably feeling pretty good about your position overall. And uh, I appreciate each and every one of you for the support that you've given me so far. Uh, make sure you hit the like button, the subscribe button, the bell to be notified of future content and leave a comment down below and let me know what you think of Luna Classic because it is getting out of its mind right now. And uh, you might be asking yourself why? Well, I think the answer, we don't have clarification, but I think the answer is this right here. This is the repeg of the USTC, which has not been enabled. But the market module idea here is that they're going to re-enable and set a spread fee to 98%, which would effectively repeg USTC to two cents. Now it's trading at 1.3 cents at that point. So it automatically means that there was a potential gain of, of about 60%, I want to say. Then you have uh, incrementally repegging it to three and four and five and six and seven, uh, and just continuing to make the spread fee go lower and lower and lower, thus burning 100% of the spread fee. Once you burn 100% of the spread fee, then that means that the, the, the tokens are coming out and will never return. So that is how you get rid of $8.9 billion worth of debt. If that works, then we're off to the races, guys. One of the pieces that's been missing in all of this has been what we're seeing right now. So if that's the case, then what do we do from there? Well, hold on for dear life, I guess, is the next step. But let's look at the charts and you can make a decision for yourself. All right, guys, here's the chart. Uh, I told you guys what I thought was going to happen, and I thought that we were going to have a breakout similar to the one that we had over here. And I told you that, that you know the parallel channel was giving me a little bit of grief here because I did hope that we'd get a nice consolidation. I was looking for it to consolidate and maybe have a breakout right here, telling you that if that happened, then we were probably going to end up at 14. Uh, but we were going to break at zero nonetheless. And I gave you the kind of the idea here that I, I want to say that when we started this, I said that you know the breakout's probably going to happen like right in this little range right here, taking us up to about 14. Then I said, you know, here we are right now and we're waiting for a moment where it's going to break out. But guys, look at this. This is uh, this is exactly what we've been calling this entire time. Uh, and uh, to be fair, like, I, you know, I, I don't make this stuff up, guys. I just read the charts. I just tell you what I, what I see is on the charts and what I think is going to happen next. So uh, what do I think is going to happen next right here? Well, uh, if you look at what I'm telling you right now and if you look at what's happening right now, then you'll see that uh, this is probably not going to sustain itself it, just like it did before. It's going to move back into a consolidation phase. It looks like we're already petering out. Now, uh, when I say that, that's because we have a giant couple of wicks over here, which is indicating downward sort of pressure. Now, if the pressure continues to move sideways in that beautiful thing, then what we can look for is the same thing to happen one more time. And it would look something like this. It would be a, a little bit of, you know, maybe coming down into this range right here. And then what happens then if there's momentum, boom, we do it again. And that's that 1400 that I was telling you about before, right? So, uh, but if it comes down a little bit and it consolidates and it goes into another uh, descending flag pattern, then we have to accommodate for that. Uh, move it out here a little bit. You know, maybe 1300 is the goal. But anyway, uh, the point is we are at this point on fire. Um, and this has been a beautiful thing. Uh, and let's go look over here so you guys can see what's happening here. USTC, USTC absolutely on fire, not just on fire, not just on fire, holding its position. Now, uh, previously we had talked about this and I told you guys that, you know, when I was uh, doing this, and we're going to turn off uh, a few of the variables here. And I told you that this was going to be the line right here and that I was looking for a breakout to come above here. We had wicked out above it over here. I thought, you know, that's a really good uh, feel, but it wasn't sustained. So then what happened was yesterday we made a video and we talked about how it was doing that on the one hour chart, right? Uh, and by the way, we've got to zoom around just to get all of this on the chart at this point. Uh, but I told you that it you know, was breaking out and it was starting to use it as support. Now that means that there's probably a lift off coming. Here's the thing. Uh, you, the, the 50 day and the 200 are starting to make a move. Now, if they're making a move, then that means that we're probably 
minting a new paradigm. And if we look at the same thing happening over here, that's happening over on USTC, then we look at maybe a little consolidation around this three level because we want to hold support at three. And that's right there. You can see uh, um, it, we zoom in here and you can probably see a little bit right here. Uh, that's where we kind of uh, swapped over here, wicked a little bit, came back down for a little test and then boom. Uh, but you look at five minutes or something like that and you can see you know, kind of how this plays out, right? With three being that area where we took a little time. So now uh, we're looking for a retest coming back right here. Uh, if we uh, take our Fib retracement, we kind of pop this out and say, this is the parabolic move right here. If we say that that's it, then what we're looking at right now is we're looking at a 50 retracement, probably more to come uh, for retracement in all honesty, but we are consolidating sideways right now. That's a great thing. That's, you know, what we're getting is we're getting this little pattern right here, uh, for a breakout. We're getting this little pattern over here for a breakout. So it looks like there might be another move. Now, uh, why is everybody doing this right now? Why is this happening on USTC? Well, uh, and by the way, I want to tell you, I sold my USTC, uh, just a little while ago. Uh, I want to show you the transaction here so that you can see, uh, what I did, uh, it kind of easy here to explain here. What I did was I took all of my USC, USTC and I converted it over to Luna Classic. Now, not because I don't trust in USTC, not because I don't believe in USTC, but this is 150% pump. Uh, and, and you guys have been following my wallet for a while. I mean, you can see you know what's happening, when it's happening. I got everything else is over here, just kind of being staked out uh, and, and, and being held uh, in, in these spots right here. I've got a little bit of staking reward accumulated. But now I have an extra million tokens that I didn't have before, uh, and you know I don't I don't think that for the moment I think when, when the 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 rationality of this kind of dies just a little bit we're going to see some retracement we're going to see some moves back down here, but I think that I made a great swap because what we got if you come over here and look is we got 28% on Luna Classic, 147% on USTC. Now ultimately. The, the the jewel in this crown, that's Luna Classic. The the jewel in all of this is Luna Classic. That's the that's the the the, the big ticket. So the fact that this is up 140 or 150, this this just gives me an opportunity to accumulate more Luna Classic because at the end of the day, uh here's what I will say: there is a top to USTC today, uh trading at 3.8 cents. It's called four cents. The maximum that you can get is a 25x off uh Luna Classic going to a penny is a thousand X or uh, 100x from here. So the, the tops are just different. They're built different. Now, let me know what you think in the comments down below. I don't know what your position is, what you're trying to do, what your goal here is, but mine is life-changing. I want to be on this ride to see this repeg happen. I want to see the resurrection, the full resurrection of Luna Classic. But guys, uh, make sure you take your profits responsibly along the way. If you are, uh, if you bought low, and you're in the money right now, take your original investment out. I implore you, wait for a dip. If you want to accumulate a little bit more, just play the game again. But your, your long-term hodl bag, just accumulate a little bit more. Get yourself a little bit in a better situation. Guys, that's what I just did. I just took uh, my USTC. I've been earning for a period of time, and I just got 10% more lunk for that move. Uh, it was a great parlay, I think. But let me know what you think in the comments down below. Uh, do you think USTC is going to end up running all the way back up to a dollar right now? I don't think that that's the case. I think it's coming back down real quickly, as a matter of fact. So I'm taking the opportunity while I get it. But uh, again, let me know what you think in the comments down below. This is not financial advice. My name is Blaze. I'm always ready. Thank you so much for tuning in, and we'll talk to you again very, very soon.